Hey guys, Fula coming to you with another video. Shout out to the whole LDBC. Um, so in this video, man, I kind of want to uh, tap into, uh, you know, today's an important day, man. Um, it's not necessarily the independence of a certain country, but it's just basically very important in the simple fact that, you know, it kind of reminds me of what can be done when people work as a collective ir, ir, uh, irregardless of their um, of their tribal origins of their language and of their religious origins um, today is emanci emancipation day and basically uh, what that day is um, concerning is um, you know, the abolition of slavery in Jamaica. You know, now granted, I'm from continental Africa, but my affinity for the Caribbean is very strong. You know, like, as I said many times, I have many Caribbean friends who I get on with. I have many Caribbean friends who are my training partners. I have many Caribbean friends who taught me a thing or two that carry on you know I like Caribbean food you know uh, not to mention the women <laughs> but anyhow um, you know th this is a very important day man because of the simple fact that you know this ties into everything that you know basically I guess you can say categorizes resistance, categorizes autonomy, and basically just categorizes doing for self, self-determination. Now, as you know, the British, the Dutch, the Spanish, the French, they all had a share in the slave trade. They all brought slaves to the West Indies, but, you know, that's not before they actually uh, wiped out the local population or, you know, came close to wiping out the local population. Um, so with that being said, what I, what I will say is that In every Caribbean place, in every, in every single Caribbean island, every last one of them, whether it came to St. Lucia, whether it came to St. Vincent, whether it came to Grenada, whether it came to Haiti, whether it came to Petit Martinique, whether it came to Guyana, whether it came to Trinidad and Tobago, whether it came to Jamaica, whether it came to St. Vincent, every last one of these islands had slave rebellions, slave revolts, okay? The thing is, Every last one of these islands had maroon communities. They had a sense of autonomy once these revolts happened, right? So with that being said, it must be said that, you know, there were different tribal groups within these um, maroon communities. You know, and the records show that there were different tribal groups there. You had, you know, my group, Fulas. You had Mandingas. You had Hausas. You had uh, Yorubas. You had Iwos. You had um, Baribas. You had uh, Nupes. You had all types of tribal groups who 
had a common goal. Their common goal was freedom. Their common goal was self-dignity. They weren't tripping off of the politics of that place. They weren't looking for acceptance from their oppressors. Some were, you know, don't get me wrong. There were some looking for that acceptance, you know. Let me not um, get too far ahead of myself. You did have the occasional sellouts in that group. But for the most part, they were trying to hold on to what was theirs. They were trying to hold on to the simple fact that they were human beings. That they weren't three-fifths of a human being. That they weren't savages. That they were not depicted as depicted to be, right? So with that being said, we can say that it's safe to say that these guys were the, how should I put, put it? The, these guys were the, um, the predecessors to the Maurice Bishops, the predecessors to the Michael Manleys, the predecessors to, um, I'm trying to think of his name, but uh, I'm trying to remember his name. The predecessor to the Walter Rooney's, you know, they, they did that, you know, they did that work first, you know. So with that being said, you know, um, we have to honestly go back and study them. You know, we have to look at what they did. We have to recognize the duty book mons who was, you know, before he went to IET, he was in Jamaica. We have to recognize the nanny of Ghana who was led a revolt in Jamaica as well. We have to recognize these people, you know, and we have to learn from them too. You know, the things that they did, you know, the things that they did for their freedom, for their sovereignty, can be implemented today, you know, without a problem. You can implement them, you know. I don't see there being an issue to implement these things, to implement their self-determination, to implement doing little by little in order to make a big difference implementing cohesion regardless of tribal background regardless of religion because you had in those revolts Christians Muslims animists and the like thereof all working under one umbrella you know um Jamaica, you know, man, it's a very, very cool place, you know. I think the rest of the Caribbean is also cool. I just feel it's overlooked, you know. I feel it's overlooked. And I don't know why it's overlooked, but, you know, me personally, I would rather fly to uh, the Caribbean any time over Europe, you know. If you ask me, hey, where do you want to go? You know, I'll say, man, shoot me to, uh, shoot me to the Caribbean, man. That's what I'll say, you know. Shoot me, shoot me there. Because the Caribbean, you know, that's, it's, it's, it's where it's at for me. You know, now, granted, you know, like the rest of the world, it's becoming a victim of gentrification and it's definitely becoming a victim of Chinese inroads, you know let's not forget that but I, I would um, investing in it 
and stuff like that. Uh, having bilateral agreements there, yeah, why not? You know, um, but, you know, on this day, I think we should just reflect, man. Reflect on what can be done when a collective group of people don't necessarily rely on um, Westminster democracy and decide to make their own democracy, decide to make their own way of doing things, you know? Um, to be honest with you, I forgot all about Emancipation Day until someone posted it on the social media handle. At first, I was like, oh, crap, you know? But for me, it doesn't matter, you know, as long as it's acknowledged. Uh, you know, there's so many figures that we can actually name that had something to do with the freedom of slavery. And it wasn't just in Jamaica, you know, it, as said before, it was all over. So I think Emancipation Day belonged pretty much to the whole Caribbean, you know. It belonged to Africa too, for the simple fact that, you know, a part of Africa left, you know. Yeah, I'm not saying that, I, you know what I won't say? I won't say that all slaves, like all Caribbean people are descending of slaves. I won't say that because of the simple fact that, you know, there were West African seafarers before, you know, slavery even got going, you know, and they sailed out and not all of them came back. That's the thing. Not all of them, not all of them, um, came back from their voyage. So if they didn't come back from their voyage, what does that tell you? They probably settled, you know? So, you know, I just wanted to make this short video about it. I don't want to be too long-winded because I don't got, got much to say on it due to the simple fact that I think they're going to celebrate the emancipations uh, on the weekend here. Although you can't say that, you know, um, I, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I mean, Thursday is kind of like a party day anyway for a lot of people. Um, but I guess, you know, today is not a... Um, I haven't heard anything about any Emancipation Day celebrations here in Los Angeles, you know. So I guess I'll celebrate by eating some, you know, some uh, curry goat with some sweet potatoes, drink some sorrel mixed with ginger, listen to some, you know, some tunes like Adonia, like Movado, and the like thereof, you know. But that's all I gotta say, man. Leave your thoughts and leave your comments. And oh yeah, man, also Emancipation Day, man, who knows? If it wasn't for uh, the efforts of um, the efforts of these, uh, you know, these rebels, these freedom fighters, who knows? We we may not have um, we may not have like a like a um, we may never have heard about an Usain Bolt or a. Um, or uh, Lennox Lewis, or Earl Spence, or a, um, you know, many athletes who have uh, a Jamaican descent, man. So, this is a good occasion, you know, and so, shout outs to all my yardies, man. You know, I mess with y'all. Shout out to all the Caribbean, man. You guys are chill, and know when to get 
go from zero to 60, you know. So, that's all I got, man. Let me stop. Let me stop being long-winded. Full of signing out. Leave your thoughts. Leave your comments. Njarama.